are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Now, who is the parent company of ESPN? That would actually be the Walt Disney Company. You guys probably already know that. And ESPN has been failing for a very, very long time. They just laid off like 7,000 people at the Walt Disney Company. And ESPN decided, you know what? We need to lay off more people because we're not making any money. ESPN has been woke for the longest time. And just recently, Bob Iger, the CEO at Disney said, you know what? We want to back off the culture war stuff. We want to back off all of the wokeness. We don't want to be involved in that because it's hurting the bottom line. But now ESPN, who has been struggling for the longest time, and apparently they still are going to go out there and have their own streaming service, which I think is going to be a bit time failure. For one thing, it's going to be really, really expensive. And I don't think people want to spend that kind of money on ESPN. It's going to be the most expensive streaming service out there. But now we need to talk about something that kind of went under the radar. I didn't even know about this. ESPN has a new woke show and they actually hired a racist. Now, the reason why you may have not known about this show is because it's actually on ESPN plus. I don't know how many people are actually going out there and spending money on ESPN plus. But the racist that they actually hired was Ibram X. Kendi, the anti-racist person that is a racist. This man is a bit time racist man. I mean, his philosophy on ending racism is to be racist. That pretty much comes out of his mouth. Ibram X. Kendi says that you can't, it's not enough for you to just not be racist. You must be anti-racist. This man is dangerous, man. He is the black version of David Duke. Now, if you guys aren't too familiar with David Duke, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys actually know who he is. He was a Klansman back in the 1970s. But but David Duke, he you never saw him wear a White clan outfit. He didn't go out there using uh, racial slurs or anything like that. But he was still dangerous with his rhetoric. It's the same thing with Ibram X. Kendi. The same exact thing. And ESPN, as disgusting as they are, have given this man a woke show to find racism in sports. I'm stunned by this. I didn't see this coming. Had no idea that this was actually happening. But look here, because it's Ibram X. Kendi has to be all about race. Daily Mail here. Woke author Ibram X. Kendi launches new ESPN plus show skin in the game on racism in the sports world. This, despite uh, Disney boss Bob Iger's vow that the company will quiet the noise over culture war controversies. They got the biggest races out there. They got one of the biggest races out there and they platform this man on ESPN plus. This is probably why not too many people actually know about this show. Ibram X. Kendi is dangerous. This man truly wants to bring us back to the 1960s with segregation. He believes that in order to end racism, you must be racist. That is his words. And the left, they love this guy. Leftists, they really do love Ibram X. Kendi. And he wants to dig up racism in sports. Now, guys, I've been watching sports, many sports for the longest time. 
the most influential and most powerful athletes for the most part. And successful have been black. When you think of the NBA, there is a ton of black players that are very, very successful. And we all know that the players in the NBA, they run the show. Adam Silver is so say supposed to be working for the owners, but the players, they overpower the owners. The players wanted Black Lives Matter on that court. Guess what? They got it. And the NBA has paid the price. A lot of people have not went back. LeBron James has a whole bunch of power over the NBA. I'm trying to figure out what racism is. Because in the major sports, I just don't see it. The NFL right now. There is a ton of black quarterbacks that started ESPN even put that out there. I believe it was almost half of the starting quarterbacks in week one were black. Where is the racism? I mean, this is straight out of the uh, Colin Kaepernick book. Right here, find racism, just make it up. Without any proof. And of course, Jamel Hill is on there because Jamel Hill is always around Ibram X. Kendi. Because she is one of the biggest races out there in the sports media. I mean, this woman was so well, ESPN got rid of her. And ESPN is super duper woke. This is. Henry Rogers right here, also known as Ibram X. Kendi. I don't know how he got that name, but I digress. And he's been facing a whole bunch of controversy, guys. A lot of controversy. Skin in the game with Dr. Ibram X. Kendi. I guess he has a Ph.D., is a joint production between ESPN Plus Originals, Anscape, Religion of Sports, and Kendi's Maroon Visions. The five-episode series confronts critical subjects, such as the mental health of black women athletes, the role of Latinos in baseball, and the portrayal of race by sports journalists. Kendi, whose best-selling books on racism have faced bans in some schools due to conservative objections, is expanding its reach with this sports focus project and an upcoming Netflix documentary. Because this man believes in critical race theory, and we know that this stuff is actually going on in schools. There's been kids that have come home crying because they're mil- they're meant to um they're made to actually feel bad about their skin color. That's been well documented. And it's because of people like him that push all this stuff. This man is dangerous. And they gave him a platform to poison the minds of people. It is just unbelievable, man. That he asked him to do this. But I guess I'm not surprised. Because like I said, man, the left, they love this guy. I mean, this guy is a hero to the left. And he's super duper woke. Yes, he is the black version of David Duke. It's just that simple. This man is a bit time racist. A bit time racist. And now they do this. ESPN went there. This is wokeness on steroids right here, man. Before 2020, I don't believe many people actually knew who um, Ibram X. Kendi was. But now a whole bunch of people know because he's out there poisoning the poisoning the brain, the brains of many, many people. ESPN should be ashamed of themselves. Walt Disney should be ashamed of themselves. But this is what they did. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. 
be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.